This fruit trifle, layered with goodness, is a summertime delight. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, You'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. So I'm going to go in with two boxes of Jello, and I'm using the raspberry flavor because I want that deep red color. I'm going to add two packets of the Jello to two cups of hot water. And I'm going to add in the second packet. And I'm going to whisk this so the jelly crystals dissolve. We are looking for the jelly to set a little bit firmer. So we're going to add one cup of cold water to it. Now let's stir that once again. And if you want the jelly to be a little softer, you could add in two cups of cold water as per the box instructions. Now remember, we are doubling the recipe here. We're going to divide this up to set. So I'm going to use two glass dishes. I'm going to pour half in one and the other half in the other. Just going to eyeball that. This is going to give us nice cubes for us to put into the trifle. Okay, our jelly has cooled down, so let's cover up the containers and place them in the refrigerator. Another key layer in trifle is custard. So you could either go in with vanilla pudding or vanilla custard. And we are going to go in with the classic custard. To a heavy bottom saucepan, we're going to add quarter cup of custard powder and three tablespoons of white granulated sugar. Just going to whisk this together and now we're gradually going to add in two and a half cups of cold milk. Just going to add a little at a time. Make sure to whisk it vigorously so that you remove any lumps. And now we can add in the rest of the milk. Now that we've got a lovely smooth mixture, Let's go over to the stove and bring it to a boil so that it thickens up. And once you place it on a medium heat, you've got to keep whisking it continuously. The custard has started thickening up. We're just going to allow it to cook for another two minutes or so and then take it off the heat. Our custard is bubbling and it has thickened well. So now we're going to take it off the heat. I'm going to pour this into a glass container and allow it to cool completely before I cover it up and place it in the refrigerator. For the fruit in the trifle, we're going to start with one and a half pound of strawberries. So we're going to take about 15 strawberries and we're going to chop them up. Now you can chop them as big or as small as you like. I'm just going for some medium sized pieces. And you can use any fruit of your preference. I'm going in with some berries and kiwis. I'm using the green kiwis. So they're going to give a nice pop of color with the berries. This is a great make ahead dessert because it tastes better if you leave it in the refrigerator for some time before you eat it. Let's put that all into a bowl. That's about a cup of strawberries and I'm going to drizzle on about two tablespoons of sugar on top of it. Just going to give this a mix. Now we're going to keep this aside so that the strawberries get a chance to macerate, which means we want the juices of the strawberries to come out and the strawberries to sweeten up with the sugar. That's looking perfect. Now let's keep it aside. And we're going to take about another 15 strawberries and slice them up and we're going to use this for decorating our bowl. When making a trifle, you've always got to have a little extra of everything because you never know how much you're going to need. And if you run short, you've just got to go with it and make it work. We're going to use these slices to get a nice design around our trifle bowl. And we're going to go in with four kiwis and I'm using the green variety. This is going to give a lovely pop of color with all the other berries that we have. Trifle is one thing you can customize to suit the occasion you're making it for. Like if you're making it for the 4th of July, you can just go in with strawberries and blueberries. Making it for Canada Day, you can go in with either just strawberries or strawberries and raspberries. So I'm just going to chop this up into smaller bits. Just 
put this into a bowl now. And now we're going to drizzle on about two tablespoons of sugar on top of the kiwi. And just like the strawberries, the sugar is going to help to sweeten up the kiwis and release their juices. I didn't mix the two together because the strawberries will discolor the kiwis. So I preferred keeping them separately. Now let's keep this aside and cut up our cake. Now for one of the layers for the trifle, we're going to go in with the pound cake. So first we'll just slice it up. Now you can use either pound cake, a sponge cake or even vanilla wafers. But we are going to be using this delicious pound cake. And if you want the recipe to it, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. And I'm going to cut this up into smaller cubes, about half an inch by half an inch pieces. And I'm going to toss all these bits into a bowl. I did lose a few bits while cutting because they went straight into my mouth. I'm sure the same thing is going to happen with you. This cake is so delicious. You just can't stop eating it. To lighten up the custard that we made, I like to add in some fresh cream. So we're going to go in with two cups of heavy cream and add in about two tablespoons of confectioner sugar or icing sugar. I'm just going to sip that in so that we don't get any lumps in. And to that we'll add about half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now let's beat it up till we get some stiff peaks. First on a medium speed. And gradually you can crank up the speed. And that's what you're looking for. I emptied the custard we've made earlier, which has cooled down in the refrigerator. And now we're going to add some of that heavy cream that we whipped up into it. And we're going to save some for topping our trifle. We're just going to fold that in. The cream gives it a nice light texture and also adds to the decadence. And now you can see that the cream and the custard has blended together. So now let's keep it aside and cut up our jelly. Our jelly has set very well and I'm just going to cut it up into small cubes so that it's easy to distribute it in our trifle. In a trifle, so many flavors come together to make that beautiful dessert. And this is a dessert that can be made when you have a large gathering because it's so easy to put together and it feeds a crowd. So we flip them up. Wow, see those little, they look like little glass pieces coming up. Okay, now it's time for us to start layering up our trifle. We're going to go in with a classic trifle dish and we're going to be making it as one trifle but you could always go in with individual serves if you wanted. So we're just going to layer the bottom first with the cake. Just make sure that we get the full base loaded up with the cake. So that's why it's important to cut it into small bits so that you can cover up every portion of the base of the dish. And now we're going to start decorating the bowl at the side. So I'm going to use the cake to hold up the strawberry. And we're going to take the second piece of strawberry and place it at the side. Now that we've placed our strawberries, let's start adding in some fruit in the center. We're going to go in with some of the strawberries that we had kept. And we could put in all the juices that came out of the strawberry. And because we added that sugar to the strawberry pieces, look how much of juice we've got out over there. Next, we're going to go in with some blackberries. Just going to take a few of those and sprinkle them around. And some blueberries. And I'm going to toss on some of the kiwi. Wow, look at all those colors. It looks amazing. I'm going to toss on some of that jelly that we made. And now let's spoon on the custard. We want the custard to come in between the strawberries so that it creates a lovely design at the side. And now it's time to repeat the same layers. Now let's go in with the custard. You're going to go for the sides first so that we get all those little places between the strawberries covered with the custard. And now let's go in for our third layer. This is going to be the final layer that we're putting on the top. 
And now to finish it off, we're going to place all the cut fruit on the top. This is going to be amazing and I can't wait to give it a taste. And we're going to use the cream that we had kept aside to give it a swirl on the top. And now to add to the freshness, we're going to finish it off with some mint leaves. Oh my goodness! Look at that! This is my favorite time. So let's give our fruit trifle a taste. Wow! I can't wait. It's going to take a little bit from this end. I'm going to take it right through. So I get a lot of all that goodness. Mm. This is definitely one of my favorite desserts. There's so many flavors going on in it with all those fruits and the custard and the jelly. Oh my goodness. You've got to give this recipe a try. So hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.